Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Sapphire. In today's video, we'll learn about advanced dashboard Unix superset. The main problem which everyone faces in superset is people has less knowledge about the type of chart which can be best for their data representation. So in today's video, we'll be covering about some of the basic charts which are other than the bar graph and the pie chart, uh, which are very useful and can represent your data more meaningfully. And then we'll be just creating a basic dashboard out of that. So it's more about knowing what type of chart you use with what type of data, okay? So it's important you should know because I have seen a lot of time the developer who are working on supersets, they don't have knowledge about other chart other than bar graph and pie chart, or you can say line graphs. So it's important you know these charts and the data they represent and you can then utilize it more. So the first chart we will be covering with the tree map. Now the common use of tree map is now let's say you are making a uh, pie chart where you are showing the country and their populations. Now we have around 200 countries near to 200 countries and they have a population. Now if you show that in a pie chart it is a terrible, terrible mess because you have so many things to show. Uh, or if you are using bar chart also a long series of a bar chart has become a problem. So similar way the tree map in that case represents the best. If you have more categories to show uh, more categories in the sense like you have two layer of categories like a subcategories kind of concept or even you don't have that still you can use it so the tree map is more when you have so many categories okay the data which we will be using for that is this one uh, give me a second yeah so it's the country data we tell the you can say what is the region of the country whether it's the east asia pacific or south asia north america south america and what are the country and their total sum of population ruler and all other population are being summed up here. Now, if you see, this is a long list. Okay. Now, if I have to show that many things into one pie chart and bar graph, it becomes very meaningless. So here the tree maps comes into the picture, which shows you the proper structure of it. So in the superset, these are the example dashboards built. So I just don't want it to show you how to build them because it's extra step because it's very simple. So you choose the region. So if you just choose the region, it will show you the region. Well, let's say just we'll choose the region and it tells me what is the population there. And if I just add a country code to it and then what it will do is it will get me a proper region. Now, if you see now and now right now it is more meaningful. You can traverse it. You can easily first of all see, okay, this biggest chunk is uh, is like East Asia Pacific and the South Asia Pacific and India is the bigger one. The Pakistan is then so you can just focus on and even here you can just focus on the smallest one and you can see what is the population there. Now the main reason for using this chart is if you have so many categories which cannot be which are not meaningful to represent in pie chart and bar graph then use the tree map now coming the second chart is the shanky chart now first of all we need to understand the data nature of it okay once we understand the data we will be able to figure it out now this is the shanky chart now uh, like the data for shanky chart now example so we have three columns target source and some value Let's say in energy, where is the energy used? The source is the energy. It is used in electricity and heating, something up, then industry use and then transportation use. Now this is one way. Now we have again further way. Let's search the transportation again. Now where the transportation? Now transportation is used on road. The target is road. Let's search for further. What other places transportation? Okay, not other places they said. And then let's say industry in industry we'll go again what are the things we have we have other industry then we have iron and steel industry and so here there is a hierarchy means the first the energy is the source and the target is industry and then the target is the you can say source and something else is the industry getting a point so there is a you can say uh, mapping so hierarchical mapping is there like one level or two level and then later things goes for you can say carbon dioxide like let's say transportation uh, has a target air and in air it releases carbon dioxide. Uh, it could be vice versa also. Transportation also can have a carbon dioxide. So the thing is here, the it's in hierarchy. The source and target are changing vice versa. Now, if you have to represent this thing in a chart, how you can do it in bar graph or pie chart? You cannot. So here's the one which helps me out is the Shanky chart.
So this one is the Shanky chart. Now here, what I have done is I specified a source and the target, and then I just specify the value on which the matrix need to be built. Now, if you see, if I go on energy, let's say this one energy. So if I see energy, have, like do produce carbon dioxide, but energy by itself doesn't produce it. So how it produces? First, we use electricity, and electricity can produce you can say electricity is used in this you can say commercial buildings and commercial buildings is producing the carbon dioxide so there is an hierarchy and things levels up here so if, even if you don't have these second levels and you have target and you just want to visualize which is the bigger chunk and which one lands up there you can use this shanky chart and it's very good in representation of these things so one more thing uh, people mistaken dashboard with a report okay now what is dashboard now dashboards are something which is mainly used for visualization and report is something which is used for producing an output in a file format or something which can be exported dashboards are not meant to be exported they are meant for you can say visualization so they are ui which people should interact with so don't mistake a dashboard with a report if someone says get me this data in a pdf that's a report Okay, when someone say I need a dashboard to analyze the data, that's the dashboard because they need to analyze and analyze is like they can visualize, they can interact with the UI. Okay, so never uh, you can say mess up both, uh, you can say mix up both the things. Now here with this Shanky chart, as you can see, you can easily see, okay, electricity and heat goes to this agriculture. In agriculture, it is getting used and then agriculture further goes to the carbon dioxide. So this way a mapping is been, you can say, made which is a hierarchy mapping using source and tiger uh, target with on this shanky chart okay and it's a very important chart when it comes to the representation of hierarchical data with a end up with a value so there is a value to represent it and you want to show a group kind of concept here okay now the next chart we'll be using is parallel coordinates this is one of the most important chart which people underestimate it uh, let me just see So let me just see if the tab is already open. No, it's not open. Let me just show you parallel coordinates. Now, what is this parallel coordinates chart? Uh, let me first show you the visualization. Okay, uh, changing the value to 10 better so that it can be more better to visualize. Now, and also, never show this chart as it is always enable in the customer section show data table underneath it so that you can visualize where the lines are going now what this chart do is it can show you all the things in parallel in a one line you can say in a simple thing let's say you want to compare population rule uh, with the total population with the rural population and there is some density aid kind of a thing and suppose you want to add further parameters let's say there is some parameter with male and female. We can add like that. Some of, yeah, uh, female, male we have added. So if I just run it now, so here you can see it land up all the things into this. Uh, you can say a single line. Now here, if you just take the focus onto these one, it will represent the line which is going there. So you can easily see where the data is missing, where the line goes. And the thing is, all these coordinates are parallel. So there is no, uh, you can say uh, X axis, it's a Y, uh, you can say it's an X axis, but in terms of like, it's all about connecting the Y axis, not about the X axis. So here you can easily see how the things go. And the best part is you can add n number of coordinates to it. There is no limit to it. You can add it, you can run it, and then you can visualize the data. But this is meaningless without this data representation. Okay, so always enable this data table along with it so that you can, someone can just interact with it. Okay, a lot of people just put a visualization uh, without thinking how the person can interact because by default, you cannot interact with the lines. This is the problem here. So how you can do it, you can do it with this one. So right now the matrix I used is the generic matrices, but you can have more meaningful matters. Let's say, um, give an example. Let's say you are doing a project on a taxi. So there is an uh, estimate, the people ask for estimate, then there is a conversion of the estimate and then you want to see uh, the number of conversion in the rural area what is the conversion in the city area what is the conversion in the metro city areas so then you can have a one line representing all the three things so first one you will take the focus it will tell the you can say the maximum uh, what is the uh, estimate number of estimate expected uh, then the conversion rate how many numbers got converted then how many in the rural and so here you uh, also sees the range is 
completely different so this one is going in you can say millions and billions and this one is going in hundreds like in the tens so it's easy to represent multiple parallel coordinates in this chart this is one of the main chart okay and then going to the sunburst now sunburst is an advanced level of we are you can say rep uh, representation of pie chart okay so sunburst is used and i as i told you this is mainly for representation it's a dashboard not a report so don't mistaken thing with it you can say a report so what is sunburst now here the thing is like uh, here we have multiple grouping let's say we have region and country and then we have total population now let's say if i have to add one more parameters to it that's a year so i can have so many things so i have like this morocco and then the year coming into the picture so i have this visualization i can just go to the focus okay this is the biggest part and this is the biggest part south asia is having this much population uh, you can say rural population and then i can just go uh, what is in the china and what is in the china in 2011 then i can go indonesia so there is you can say a grouping kind of a thing where i can visualize things with a parallel matrices uh, with multiple groups okay and i can add as many groups as possible uh, it's very good and interactive when it comes to you can say visualizing anything and giving more meaningful information to it there are other charts also like a box plot and all which i am not covering which you can easily find on internet so but uh, why i covered this chart charts is because i've seen people not knowing this chart and start building the dashboard and end up just using pie chart and bar graph so if you know the data your data nature then you can f figure out the visualizations okay now just to repeat tree map is used when you have too many groupings so you cannot show that in by bar graph or pie chart so tree map is one of the best part chart to represent that this is the most common thing people have so many categories to show then coming to the shanky chart now shanky chart is used when you have uh, hierarchical data and you want to see what is the relationship between each one of them then you can use this like energy goes to the transportation transportation goes to roads um, it goes to rail ship and other things and then it's air transportation and you can see the biggest part is the road and then the other part is the small is the rail and other and the uh, after that it's the air similar way you can see okay energy goes to the energy uh, you can say industry industry go to other industry also industry go to iron and steel so you can just visualize the thing and you can figure it out the relationship with it so shanky chart is very good when you have the hierarchical relationship and you want to visualize it in a better manner then coming to the parallel coordinate charts when you have so many coordinates uh, you can say matrices you want to look all together in a single line you can say or, or a single screen this is the best chart for you uh, there is no x axis to it the only thing is you always need to enable this data table else this is a waste chart there is no use of it uh, unless you just use a proper palette to distinguish your lines and all then you can visualize it but you cannot take a focus and see what is the actual value to it but here with this you can easily do it okay now coming to uh, this one shanky chart so oh sorry uh, this rural uh, sunburst chart so here is when you have uh, you can say a grouping which you can you want to visualize in a pie chart manner but it has to have more groups to it then use this one because pie chart by default doesn't have this many groups so let me just add country name give me a second country name uh, or region okay now here you see what happened is i pull the region at last so the region has to come first so that it can show me proper thing so hierarchy has to be in a right level order now coming toward the building the dashboard building a dashboard is not a challenging task it's a very simple thing you can just click on this new let's say go to the dashboard it's very basic controls but people for, uh, forget uh, you can say uh, don't actually understand it properly the first thing you have to add is the line uh, you can say a row to it so if you add the row there is then you can add multiple things to it then you can add a tab so let's say we add this tab into this row so and now in the tab i can have multiple tabs now in the tab also i need to add a row then only i can add the data so i added this now suppose i want to add a chart so i will go here let's say i say i want to get let's say this daily total i just added 
uh what are the other charts are not listing up that's a bad idea but the bad thing but yeah okay let me just save it the visualization now if i go into the charts now here i can see my you can say charts or you can say a different different tabs so the main thing about building a dashboard it, it's very simple so first of all you need to uh, use this control row and column is one of the main control so if you use the row and column properly then you can easily maintain it and the tab so these are the three basic tools other than that it's all simple you just drag drop that i don't know why my chart is not listing let me just say i don't know why these are not getting listed but you get my point just the thing is i just wanted to show you these basic controls whenever even you add a tab you need to add a row to it you cannot do it because if you add a row directly what will happen is it will always be available there it won't be like showing you so this row becomes an you can say common row now even if whatever chart i pull this row will be there so that is wrong so whenever you are making first you have to do a drag a row nest them properly and then things will be very fine i hope this video will make more sense uh, about building a dashboard now because you understand the type of charts better there are other types also there are thousand types and you can also get the third party plugins but the main thing is you should know the you can say your data first let's say just to repeat tree map is when you have too many groupings shanky is when there is a hierarchical structure which you want to represent parallel coordinates you want to visualize all the parameters all together and then serverless you want to visualize grouping in a pie chart format with a more interaction and always remember there is a difference between reports and the dashboard i hope this uh, video was meaningful if you still need my any help you can reach me on my email id that's contact at textfy.net and uh, this is our phone number you can ping us on whatsapp or also you can connect us uh, via phone thank you have a good day bye bye